Hey guys, it's Tim, and welcome to another one of my videos. And today I think I'm going to be starting a series of tutorials for you Minecrafters like myself who may have had or still do have trouble getting mods if you guys want to mod your game or be sly and go into a multiplayer game and have the upper hand. So what you want to start by doing is going to this website. I will have it in the description, so don't worry about that. And you'll scroll down until you find this right here. Current version 5.10 for Minecraft 1.1.0. And you'll just download that. And then you'll have it down here if you're using... Um, I'm running Vista. Um, I think it does that with all of the um, operating systems. I'm not sure about Mac though because I don't really use Mac. So um, what you can do is... Uh, minimize that or close that and you'll have your mod here you probably want to get winrar I'll probably put that in the in the sorry not the put that in the um, description for you guys I'm not sure um, so you'll want to go to your little start button um, I have this little bar down here but for you guys that don't there's um I think you go to, I don't know, there's a little like search button or something over here for you guys that don't have one of these little search bars, but um, once you find that, you can type in percent app data percent, and you'll find your little roaming folder, and you want to go into the roaming folder, and then you'll see your dot minecraft folder, and you'll have all these other folders, and you don't want to go into those, those are yeah, yeah, you just don't need those. So, go into your Minecraft folder, and then um, you want to create a new folder in here. Once again, I went to the dot Minecraft folder. Create a new folder. Go to right click. Go to new folder, and you want to name that mods m o d s lowercase. Then from there you'll go into there and you'll create one more folder. Right click, go to folder, and this one will be zombie, Z-O-M-B-E, lowercase. And then you'll go into there, and then we'll minimize this for now, and then um, we'll go back into our percent app data percent. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry about that. Um, and then you'll go to your dot minecraft folder once again your bin and then you'll see all of these folders or possibly more depending on if you guys use other mods or anything um, you'll see your little minecraft folder um, it's a uh, mine look different because I don't know I messed it up with winner somehow but it's the exact same thing but it's a executive jar file just jar file um, so you want to go to that one so you'll right click with winrar You'll go to open with WinRAR Archiver. You can also use 7-Zip, but I, uh, I'd i rather use WinRAR. And uh, I just think it's all around better than 7-Zip, but that's my personal opinion. So you'll have this big folder here, and this is, this is what Minecraft is right here. All of these files, this is what runs Minecraft. So what you'll want to do is you see this meta-imp folder you have to delete that if you do not delete that the mod will not work this is how it is for all other mods that folder has to be deleted for any other mod to work and this one so from there you'll scroll down until you don't see the folders anymore uh... minimize that again open your zombies mod pack folder and you're gonna go into the folder that says classes open that and you'll see all of these little um, looks like pieces of paper. Um, so you'll go to the bottom and you'll highlight all of those little folders, not folders, uh, class files, except for the top little folder that has the dot dot. And then from there you will drag all of the files into the um, area over here. And the reason I scrolled down earlier to here, not the files, because if you drag it into the um, one of the folders, the mod will not work. So 
remember to drag it into the area where there is not folders so you just scroll down a little bit and drag it in so um, from there you can close your minecraft dot jar folder and you can um, go back into your zombie folder so once again I'll go back to that so you guys can see it percent app data percent into your roaming folder into your dot minecraft folder and then back into the mods folder double left click that then we go back into our zombie folder and then um, from there what you need to do is open your zombies thing again but this time oh, sorry about that this time instead of opening the classes file you'll be opening up the config file so double left click that and you'll see all of these and this is basically the um, I'd say probably the blueprints for the mine I mean not the, <laughs> the mine I'm sorry I'm just thinking about minecraft been playing Minecraft all day. Um, the blueprints for the whole mod, basically. So what you'll do is you'll go to the bottom and you'll highlight all of them. Once again, except for the top folder. And you'll just drag those into the folder. Once again, this is the this is the mods folder and the zombie folder. Inside the zombie folder. And from here, you're pretty much done. What you want to do, though, first is in this file, you want to go into the config, and this opens up the mod. And um, most of you guys are probably doing this mod for the fly mod. So I'm going to skip down and go down to the fly mod section. So um, fly mod, here it is. Okay, so it says um, uncomment to enable mod. And that means you see this little pound symbol. You need to go there and you need to hit backspace and delete that. And that enables this mod, the fly mod only. And then um, what you want to do is pick your keys for um, enabling the fly mods. So I usually do N and B. And those actually don't enable. It says it enables the fly, but it really doesn't. This key right here, the toggles fly mode, that's what toggles the fly mode so I just leave that at F because that's pretty simple and easy to remember and then for oh by the way all of these need to be capitalized okay and then for the fly up I usually do space and that's the space bar and then to fly down I usually do um, L shift and then the, f the speed modifier so when you're actually flying you'll go faster I usually do R shift and then um, flying speed modifier is a toggle that means do you want to push a button for the speed modifier to work and it'll toggle it or do you want to hold it down so I change that to yes because I like to be able to toggle it and then this is a running speed modifier meaning if you push a button um, you'll run quicker so I usually put R for run and then once again running speed modifier is a toggle I usually do yes no clip uh that doesn't that's only like single player i like to play multiplayer a lot but um so i usually just leave that at f6 um this is where you can change around the speed so with the running speed multiplier it can be 0 0.1 to 10 i usually put that at about um 6.5 and that's fairly quick you run fairly quickly with that um vertical speed multiplier with run speed modifier i don't really change that because when you're climbing up ladders and stuff, you don't want to be going so quickly that you keep falling down. Um, vertical s movement speed, that's just without it. So if you put that up, um, most servers will kick you for because it detects the speed uh, being changed. So it'll usually kick you for that. Um, movement speed multiplier with speed modifier, I usually put that at about 7. So when you're flying around and you push the speed modifier, you'll fly even quicker. And then the jump, I don't mess with that. And tag flown when flying, so it'll say, for example, up in the corner, it'll say flying. Um, I usually put a capital F on that because I'm kind of a grammar Nazi, so just change that. Um, and yeah, that's really it. Um, there's all these mods in here, guys. You can use all of these. If you have any questions... 
uh, you can feel free to ask on these other mods but first of all you want to go to file and you want to click save if you do not click save it will not go through so I'm gonna attempt to show you guys um, the fly mod I'm not sure if it'll run because as you guys know my computer is not that powerful so I will not be running this game quickly so it's probably gonna be very slow but um, I'll attempt to show you guys that hope it's not too slow so um, yeah that's pretty slow um, I guess I'll just go to New World 1 and then let that load up oh I love this world yeah it's pretty pretty laggy I'm just gonna let it buffer a bit so I hit the F key and as you can see it says flying in the corner so I can um, fly up that's without the speed modifier hit R shift speed modifier is toggled and as you can see I'm flying a lot quicker um, L shift to fly back down F and if you fly up and you hit F to fall back down you do not take damage by the way so do not be scared about that you can just hit F and you'll fall back down to be safe and then your normal speed modifier when you're running turn that on turn that on <laughs> there we go see how quickly I moved it's a bit laggy so it's kinda hard to see but um, as you can see I sprinted through there so um, if you guys like me making tutorial videos I can um, I can post more on different mods or different games I like to mod games but um, to a certain degree you know I like to enjoy games as they are um, so if you guys would like to see more if this was really helpful please leave um, good not please leave uh, feedback um, good or bad if it's bad please let me know what I could improve upon if it was good just give me a like for the video tell your friends um, if you're having trouble feel free to message me um, so that's about it thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time